What's up my friends, welcome back. You're watching Half Video Order Stuff and in this video I'm gonna answer a really common question that I get in the comments on this channel. And that is, what is a lookup table, AKA LUTs? I'll break it down in layman's terms so I won't get super technical and by the end of the video you'll know what they are, what they can do, whether you need them and how you can use them. It's time for me to shut up and roll the intro. <laughs> As ever, links to everything mentioned in this video I've linked in the description box below. And of course, this isn't sponsored content, so it would mean a lot to me if you could show some love for the channel by hitting that notification bell next to your sub button. It means a lot to me, plus you won't miss a video. Thank you kindly. So what are LUTs? Well, basically, lookup tables are small files that you can apply to your footage non-destructively with the aim of getting it nearer to being ready to deliver. LUTs can transform your footage from ordinary to punchy to cinematic to vintage. Basically, if you can imagine a certain look, there's probably a LUT out there designed to help you achieve it. But what can LUTs do? Think of them like presets in Adobe Lightroom. They can alter your contrast curve, your color, your saturation. What LUTs can't do is make other adjustments like sharpness, vignette, clarity, that kind of thing. Let me show you a couple of examples. So starting with this fairly standard shot, this is actually shot in s Cinetone on my A7S III. And I think it looks okay, but adding a lookup table, we can get it looking like this. To me, this looks way more 3D and punchy, and notice that our skin tones still look really good. I absolutely love these Velocor lookup tables for use with picture profiles like s Cinetone. Or we can take this super low contrast, low light shot, and with a lookup table, it looks like this. These Phantom LUTs are some of my favorite and I use them on almost everything I do. So how do you know whether you need them? Well, there are a few different types of LUT and it's good to be familiar with them so you know what's what. I will show you examples of each in just a moment. Firstly, there's LUTs that are designed for use with standard Rec. 709 footage. Generally speaking, these won't do much in the way of changing your contrast, but they will mathematically change the colors in your footage to get the desired look. These work well with standard profile footage from your camera or even your phone. Next, there's conversion LUTs, and these are designed to convert your very low contrast log footage into something that looks more like a standard profile by adding contrast and color information. The good news is generally these lookup tables tend to be free from the manufacturers. Like Canon have their C-Log to Rec. 709 lookup table and Sony have their S-Log 3 to Rec. 709 and so on. At this stage, if you're wondering what log footage is, don't worry, Harv's got your back. I did a video called What is Log? and I'll link it here and down in the description below. Enjoy. Lastly, we have stylized LUTs, and these are sort of like a combination between the last two. These are LUTs that are designed for log footage again. They do the conversion to Rec. 709, and then they take your footage even further into a more stylized place. Now let me show you examples of LUTs for standard footage, conversion LUTs, and then stylized LUTs. Let's do it. So I took this fairly standard looking footage and I wanted to improve it. So I added one of my favorite all time lookup tables and that's the Aspen LUT from Velocor. Everything's improved, all the colors and in particular my skin tones. These are so good, you can see why I love them. Next, I've got some low contrast log footage that needs conversion. My go-to is the Phantom Neutral lookup table, which gives you great color. They're based on ARRI color science. So it's conversion, but a little more cinematic. Finally, I've got some more log footage, which I want to add a stylized LUT to, which will do my log to Rec. 709 conversion and then take it a bit further. So I've chosen the Skyfall lookup table from Triune Films. As you guessed, this is based on the colors that you'll find in the film Skyfall. And I love what this LUT does. It gives it just a kiss of vintage feel whilst making it feel really nice and warm and summery. Next, let me show you a few ways you can use lookup tables to change and hopefully improve your footage. And why not show you how I edit the main shot that I use for these videos. It goes through a couple of stages from log footage, which needs a conversion LUT, and then I stylize with a stylized LUT. Let me show you how it's done. Jumping into Final Cut, and the first thing I do is apply a custom lookup table. And the one I use the most is the Phantom Ari Utopia lookup table. And strictly speaking, it's not a conversion lookup table because it takes your footage to a little bit more of a cinematic place. But I definitely prefer it to the stock lookup tables you get from Sony for converting S-Log3. 
Next, I'll place instances of color wheels and color curves before the lookup table in my chain of plugins. I do this because I need to make some color and exposure adjustments. I'm really not doing anything major, I'm just bringing the exposure down slightly and I'm pushing the colors into a slightly more pleasing place. Next, I've added an instance of color curves and you can see I've got loads of control points and I'm just helping to bring out all of that lovely dynamic range. I've done a whole video about color curves and why they can make a huge difference to your footage and I'll link that above and below. Lastly, I'm going to drop on another instance of custom lookup table. And in this case, because we've already done our conversion, we can add a lookup table that's designed for standard Rec. 709 footage. And the one that I like at the moment is the Triune Films Harry Potter lookup table. And of course, at full strength, it looks ridiculous, but dial it back a bit. And I absolutely love what this does to my footage. For me, the sweet spot is at around 50% intensity. So from log to Rec. 709 to stylized, this is a repeatable grade that I really love. Next, we're looking at very standard profile footage. And I just know we can improve this and get it looking really good. Here it is straight out of camera. And then with a the lookup table, this is what we got. I love it, it's ridiculously easy. Let me show you how I did it. Again in Final Cut, and this is gonna be a really easy one. Firstly, I've dropped on an instance of color wheels and all I'm gonna do is drag the exposure down just a tiny bit. We're really lucky with this clip as I don't think it needs any kind of color correction whatsoever. You know what's next? I've dropped on an instance of custom lookup table. And again, my go-to lookup table for this sort of thing is the Velocore Aspen lookup table. Like a lot of these lookup tables, I like to dial it back a little bit. That looks good to me, but I want to try a few more and see if I can get something I like even more. So another one I go to very often is the Velocore Lighthouse lookup table and boom I love what this does to the contrast and colors and notice that it protects your skin tones. However at full strength it is quite extreme so I definitely want to dial this back a little bit and at around 50% I love the way this looks and it really is that simple. I went from this fairly good looking standard shot and really pumped it up and got it looking punchy and sharp all with the use of of just one lookup table. Right now I want to gather everything in this video and boil it down into a sticky mess of tips for you to scrape off the bottom of the pan and enjoy. Firstly, make sure you know which type of LUT you need for the format of video you prefer to shoot. As I mentioned, there's standard, conversion and stylized to choose from. I would advise doing a color correction before your lookup table. It can make a really big difference. I would advise not overdoing it when applying a stylized lookup table. Subtlety really does go a long way. I would also advise not sacrificing skin tones for style. This is not a hard rule or anything because guess what, there are no rules, but it's considered good practice. And finally, definitely search for free LUTs. There are loads out there. I actually reviewed a free pack you can get on Rhino Slider's website and I'll link that below. Anyway, that's it for now. You can ask me questions about lookup tables in the comment section below if you want to. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. I've got a large archive of videos about videography on this channel of which YouTube has handpicked this video for you and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. Just hang me